Good. All right. Now we have just we're continuing on in the last chapter of the first book of the Torah, the, the, the end of the first book of the Torah, uh, book of Genesis, of Bereshit. The Hebrew is called Bereshit. And it's talking about how Yaakov is about to die and he blesses all of his children. So first of all, he blesses the two children of Yosef that were born in <clears throat> um, Egypt. And now he's starting to bless the, the, his children in the order of their birth. So let's go. We have, first of all, <clears throat> Reuven, Shimon, Levi, and Yehuda. So let's see as much as we can to get those blessings. <clears throat> I know some of these blessings are not such big blessings. They're pretty, they're reproofs. <clears throat> He's telling them that they're, that they're, the, they're telling, Yaakov is telling them things they, that they did which were mistakes. So let's have a look. Vayikra Yaakov el Banov. Yaakov called to his sons. Vayomer and he said to them, Hey, us fool, gather together. Vagira lachem, and I will tell you. What is going to happen to you? In the end of days. In the end of days. What's he going to tell them about Mashiach? We're going to see just one moment. Give me one moment. Okay. What's going to happen to you in the end of days? That's pretty good. Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, and this, the, in fact, he doesn't, we'll see, he doesn't really tell them very much about the end of days. He told the only one that's sort of, you know, hinted at is Yehuda. Because Yehuda, Mashiach is going to come from Yehuda. But the other ones, he doesn't really reveal any big secrets. And that's what it says. He come to Vishimu ben Israel, gathered together and listen, Jews, Vishimu Yisrael Abihem, and listen to Yisrael, your father. But we're going to go back and explain that. So he starts off, Ruven, <coughs> Ruven, you are my firstborn. You are my first power. And <clears throat> you should have gotten more uh, the, the rulership and more, uh, how do you say, uh, the, the control of, well, you shouldn't have been, you should have been elevated to a higher position, but you weren't. Why? Because Pachas come in because you got a bad temper. And we'll see what it is, what he did, because he did a bit. Next one, Shimon and Levi, two brothers. Clay, Hamas, weapons of destruction are like in their possession. Use these weapons of destruction. Well, we'll see what this means, what it was. In their secret, my soul will not come. In their group, I won't unify my honor because in their anger, they killed a person and with their, with their desire, they uprooted an, an ox. We're going to see the ox is talking about Yosef. Okay, a ruler up on cursed is their anger because it's very strong, and their another word for their fury because it's hard. I'll divide them among Yaakov and I will spread them out among Israel. They'll be spread out. So Shimon is going to be spread out, he's going to look around for a livelihood. And Levi, of course, you know, didn't get a portion in Israel. He's he got the 48 cities, Levi cities, but there's no portion of Levi. And that says, Yehuda, you are. You are Yehuda. Your, your brothers will surrender to you. Your hand will be on the neck of your enemies. So this is really the first good one that he said by Reuven. He said to Reuven, you were supposed to be the leader, but you lost it. Sh Shimon and Levi, you know, I, I don't really want to have that much to do with you. <clears throat> it was really terrible what you did. We'll see what exactly what it did. We'll see how much we can get done. <clears throat> Your brothers will all bow down to you. The sons of your father will all bow down to you. And you are a lion, a young lion that eats up his prey. He crouches down like a old, like a regular lion, and like a 
no one can stop him, like a like a male lion, a female lion. No one can stop him. We'll go into these. This is the last one we're going to try to do today. <clears throat> the the staff of rulership will never go away from Yehuda. Now, there's a Mashiach that's going to come from Yehuda, and all the leaders in the future generations until Mashiach are all going to come from the tribe of Yehuda. And the lawmaking will be like between his feet. <clears throat> until Shiloh comes. Shiloh is the Mashiach. And all nations will gather to him. Okay, there's more to you about Yehuda also, but I don't think we're going to get that much done today up to there. So let's let's try to do this. At least we know that these are <clears throat> here. So that's the first four sons. Okay, ready? Let's start off from, from the beginning here. It says that Yaakov said to his sons, gather together and I'm going to tell you what's going to happen in the last of days. Rashi says he wanted to reveal the end <clears throat> and the, the, God's presence went away from him. So he said other things. He gave them all sorts of other blessings. Uh, <clears throat> he says, how do we know that? Because the word he'asfu means to gather together, and he kabsu also means to gather together. So it, this is the sifsei chami. He explains Rashi. It says he'asfu are two different languages as a gathering. <clears throat> And both of them hint at the end, like it says that all of the the um, <clears throat> the the scattered Jews will all be gathered together. Like it says, Nidachak Ekabets, I will gather together the scattered the Jews. That's in Safania, the province of Safania. <clears throat> this hints at the last <clears throat> exile when all the Jews will be gathered together. I mean, the Jews were scattered also when after the first temple was destroyed. But this is going to be a different gathering. This is after the second temple is destroyed, like almost 2,000. Right now we're talking. <clears throat> that's why he says, Loma Li, but he wanted, that's what he was, wanted to say what was going to happen in the last of days, but he didn't. He wasn't able to. Here's an interesting thing in Balaturim. It says Ra, that Yaakov wanted to reveal the Kates, the end, the Nistam, nistam Menu, and it was closed from him. He wanted to tell them at least some sort of a hint way, when Mashiach was going to come, <clears throat> because that's the goal of Judaism. Yaakov said, wow, I, I, I wanted to tell it to you. I had it right in my mind, and it went away from me. <clears throat> Yaakov said, maybe one of you did a sin. Maybe this sins. So they said to him, look in our names, right? The names, Reuven, Shimon, Levi, Yehuda, Yisachar, Zavulan, etc. Look in the, the names, Velotim Sabem Otiot, you won't find the two letters chet, tet, and other words, chet, sin. <clears throat> we haven't got any sin. You can, it's hinted at in our names. Our names don't have the, later, the letters of sin. Chet, tet means chet. Yaakov said, I checked your names, and also there's no letters kuf, tzadik either. Kate's the end. So it's not because you did any sins that I'm not revealing it to you, but because Something, it's it's inherent. I'm not going to reveal the secrets right now. Let's just look at the Kliyakar. The Kliyakar is very beautiful, and I'll just explain in the end. I'll explain it to you. It says that Yaakov wanted to reveal the end, and it was concealed from him. Then when he says, Asifa, what does he say? Here it says, Hey, Asfu, gather together. Right? Yaakov said, Yaakov said, hey, asfu, gather together. Yisrael used the word hikabtsu. What's the difference between hikabtsu, that it was used by Yisrael, Yisrael, and hey, asfu, which is used by Yaakov? Yaakov and Yisrael, of course, are the same person, but it's just two aspects of Yaakov. So he says, okay, the, the language that we first use, hey, asfu, which was used by Yaakov, this is, says this from the outside. Hey, asfu, someone's outside in a place that's revealed, 
and you gather the person into your house, uh, a private place. <clears throat> All right, he brings some examples. But the language kibbutz, which is going to be used by Israel, this indicates on people that are scattered around, you gather them outside, even outside, you just gather them to one place. That's what kibbutz is. So in the beginning, Yaakov wanted to reveal the secret of the, of the end of days. And this is not good to reveal this in a public place. That's why he said, hey, asfu, gather together. Hey, asfu. If so, that's why he said, hey, asfu, which means in a, in a private place. Immediately, Yaakov felt in himself that the end was not going to be revealed to him, that God was not giving him these secrets. So therefore, he returned, and he stopped saying the language asifa, and he said, he kabzu. Ikabtsu ben Yaakov, toward the words, words that are not secrets. Now I can say it even in public. And that's why he said, Shimu, listen. Because a kibbutz is from, to say, words of like reproof and things that aren't secret. He's telling them off. That's why he said, Omer Shimu ben Yaakov. That's why he calls them over here, Shimu, he calls them, Bnei Yaakov, he calls them the sons of Yaakov. Yaakov is the lower name of, uh, of Yisrael. Yaakov is when he was had to fight against his brother Esau, and he didn't really win yet. He had to use all sorts of trickery. That's why it says, Shimu el Yisrael avim, because the telling of the future depends on Ruach HaKodesh, that that goes to the name of Yisrael. That's a spiritual name. So therefore, he said, you are B'nai Yaakov. I can't reveal to you the deep secrets. I can't reveal to you. Eventually, you will listen to Yisrael of Yichem. Yisrael is the one who will reveal these deep secrets to you. Yisrael is the higher name of Yisrael. OK. Now, that was the introduction. He said, I wanted to reveal deeper things to you, but I'm not going to be able to do it. <clears throat> and the reason is, is because God, for some reason, didn't want me to. And we're going to see some of the reason here. It says, Reuven, you are my firstborn. You are my, my power and my first energy. Yet there's safety, yet there is. You should have gotten more power and more energy, more power and more rulership. See, Rashi says, Rashi's Oni, that Reuven, you were my firstborn. Says so you were my first drop of semen, that my first seed that came from me. That Yaakov never saw any, never had any uh, any emission of his seed before Reuven. He says you are my first power, like own. Own means power. If you remember, we learned about that in the Yom Yom and Own. Yet there sate. <clears throat> You were, you should have been Yoter even more than your brothers in being Kahona. It says that the firstborn, he, they were supposed to be the priests. And also a firstborn, according to Judaism, re, gets a double portion. You were supposed to be, you have to say eight. Say it means to lift up, like lifting up your hands. Nisiut Kapayim. The Kohanim lift up their hands to bless the people you were supposed to be. But in the in the sin of the golden calf, it was taken away from the firstborn. Yet there owes you were supposed to have also kingship, like Yitain owes the Malko. What caused you to lose all this? What caused you to lose all this? A lot of beautiful explanation over here from the Orachaim and the Kliyakar. <clears throat> Because pachas kamayim, pachas kamayim, you were like as unstable as water, volatile like water. <clears throat> Rashi, pachas vabahala, you were so like unstable to show your anger like water that it runs down quickly, right? You give water the first chance, make a little opening in a, in a vessel and the water immediately runs out. Can't hold itself back. Altosar, therefore, Altosar means you will not 
increase to take all these good things that I wanted to give you, that you were supposed to be the first in the priests and the first in the leadership. You're the firstborn. What exactly happened? It says, Oto shame Sha'ala al Yatsui. That, if you remember, what happened was is that um, Ruvain, after Ruvain's mother died, Leah, Leah passed away. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, after Rachel died, after Rachel died, so Yaakov had a bit of a problem. Where was he going to sleep? Usually his bed, he had four wives. Whose room was Yaakov's bed in? How was room was Yaakov's bed in? So Yaakov's bed was usually always with Rachel. Rachel was the one that he really wanted to get married to. So really when he was having relations with Leah, he had been tricked. He thought it was really Rachel. When, <clears throat> when Rachel died, so Yaakov took his bed and he should have moved it into the bed of Leah, Rachel's sister. After all, Leah was the, the one who gave birth to his first children. But he didn't. Yaakov moved his bed into Billah's room. And that angered Reuven. Reuven was the firstborn of Leah. <clears throat> so because of that, so it says, Al Shem Yitzuimoto. Said you were the one you pushed away the shechina. You you made um, a disarrangement of all of the spiritual powers of the sons of Yaakov. They were all supposed to be one. The Orachayim says it maybe in the best way here. Let's see. Let's we have it over here. It says the reason is. When you were, <clears throat> yes, when you were, when your mother was pregnant with you, and there was a little bit of a, a confusion. Why? Because really Yaakov wanted to have had relations with Rachel. <clears throat> that was the night of the wedding. He thought he had married Rachel. And Rachel's father, who was Lavan, <clears throat> played a trick on him. And he put Leah there instead. So there was one, he actually had relations with Leah, but in his thought was Rachel. Because of Maisaia Leah, in fact, it was Leah, and in thought it was, Yaakov thought that it was Rachel. That's what he says, Mishkevi Avicha. And this was the reason that later on he did this thing and confused it because this the, the he, he messed up the bed, it says, of, of Bila. <clears throat> because <clears throat> there was a little bit of bad in was born into Ruvain because he was born with the wrong intention. Therefore, it says. Uz, Laramus, because it says when he had relations with his mother, when Yaakov had relations with his mother, then there was Chilu Yitzui. There was it was a, a little bit of a confusion. Yaakov thought one thing and he was actually doing another thing. And then that was one confusion on the bed. And then the other one was when he, he disarrayed the bed of Bilha. And so therefore he got punished because of that. Shimon and Levi Achim. Shimon and Levi are brothers. Kli Hamas Micharotehem. And uh, weapons of destruction are in their possession. Rashi. They were brothers. One, interestingly, I hear it says they were brothers. Here, let's see where this is. Uh, they were brothers. Where were they brothers? They were brothers of Dina. They went and took revenge on what Shechem had done to Dina. They killed everybody in the town, if you remember. Because Dina was their brother, their, their sister. 
but they didn't show any brothers brotherhood to Yosef. In fact, they sold him. <clears throat> Says therefore, they had one. They went to Shechem and on Yosef. The, those were the two that took Yosef and wanted to kill him. Who are the ones? It doesn't say in the Torah exactly. Who are the ones that originated this idea? Let's go and kill Yosef. All the brothers were all together. <clears throat> Who are the ones that got the idea to kill him? Who are they? Maybe you want to say it was Reuven or Yehuda. No, it can't be. They didn't agree to kill him. Right? Yehuda said, let's throw him into a pit. Reuven, no, I'm sorry. Reuven said, let's throw him into a pit. And he tried to go back and take him out. Yehuda was the one that said, let's sell him. So they didn't agree. Maybe it was one of the sons of the Shvachos. Maybe it was one of the sons of Bila and Zilpa, but God Asher or Naphtali, and says, no, Hari, Loeta, they weren't there. Shanatan Shlema, they weren't <clears throat> considered to be one of the part of the. Uh, they weren't old enough, like it says, who narrated Bene Bila Bad Zilpa. They didn't really hate uh, <clears throat> uh, Yosef that much. Sinatan, their hatred wasn't complete. Yosef used to be like sort of friendly with them. Okay, well, what about Yisachar and Zebulun? They were two sons of Leah. They wouldn't speak before their brothers who were bigger. So the only ones that could possibly be that said, had the idea, let's kill Yosef, was Shimon and Levi. And they were the ones that are called, <clears throat> that their father called brothers. They were murderous. That, as far as Yosef went and as far as Shem went. They took, okay. So it said, hey. Yeah. But Sodom, in their secret, my will not come my soul. In their group will not be unified my honor. Because with their anger, they killed a person. And with their will, they uprooted an ox. What's this going on? It says, Rashi, you, 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 sorry, Yaakov is really going into the future now. It says, in my secret, there won't come, in, the, in their secret, there won't come my soul. In other words, I'm not going to really be part of them uh, intimately, Shimon and Levi. Why? Because in the future, there's going to come Zimri. Zimri, if you remember what the story of Zimra was, is that the whole tribe of Shimon came, <coughs> and this is after the the war that they made with Midian is that Shimon, the, the tribe of Shimon, Zimri, who was the head of the tribe of Shimon, he took a Midianite woman and had relations with her in front of everybody. And he said, Lo zu asura o mutori. He said, this lady, this non-Jewish lady that I'm having relations with in front of everybody, is she permissible? Or forbidden. If you say it's forbidden, how did you get married to the daughter of Yitro? <clears throat> that so that's Z therefore he said, My name is not going to be mentioned with this. I don't want to have any Yaakov. Like it says, Zimri ben Salu. Nasi Beit Avla Shimoni. And it doesn't say Ben Yaakov. In their kahal, in their group, says Yaakov, I don't want to be. Here's another big <clears throat> sin. But this one wasn't done by Shimon. It was done by Levi. Levi did a sin. I thought they were all holy people. Oh, yeah, that's what every, you, Moses, Moses thought also. He was from the tribe of Levi. Until Korach gathered everyone. Korach was from the tribe of Levi. He was the tribe of Levi. He gathered all the Jewish people against Moses and Aaron. He said, al had kabodi. <clears throat> he said, the... There, 
my name will not be unified with him. Like it says, Ben Korach, Ben Yitzhar, Ben, Ka- ben Kahat, Ben Levi, and it doesn't say Ben Yaakov. Later on, it does say, it does say Ben Yisrael. Later on, it says, my honor should not be with him. They really should have gotten this honor that was coming, that, w- that had been taken away from Reuven. But what can we do? In their anger, they killed a person. What's that? That's Chamor and the people of Shechem. <clears throat> they were all considered like one person. They killed him. This is that Levi and Shimon Levi, they were both like bar mitzvah at that time. They killed. And also, they killed Midian, like one person. And also, like it says, in Egypt, it says, Sus Barochbo, Ram of Sus, like one like one horse. In other words, the enemies of the Jews can sometimes be like one person. Each one, like Shimon and Levi, they killed the person who they got angry on. It says also in their will, they uprooted an ox. Who is the ox? That's Yosef. The Yosef is called Shur. Shenemar, Bechor Shur, Hodor Lo. We'll, we'll see that in the blessings. That Those are the blessings of, of, uh, of Moshe, Moshe gives later on. A ruler upon their anger is cursed because it is too strong. And their, how do you say, their fierceness because it's very difficult. I'm going to scatter them around Yaakov and I'll, another word for scatter them around in, in Israel. Rashi says their anger. Even when Yaakov got angry at Shimon and Levi, he didn't curse them, but he cursed their anger. Local el apam, only their anger. That's what it says by Bilaam. Bilaam wanted to curse the Jews later on in the days of Moses. It says, what can I curse if God didn't curse them? Because even when the Jews do sins, so God doesn't curse them. He just curses, curses the things that they do. I'll divide them among Yaakov, Shimon, and Levi. They'll be separated one from the other. <clears throat> How so? Levi, first of all, won't have one of the, of the tribes. That's what is in his Chalukim. When, how many tribes were there? There were 12 tribes. But Levi wasn't counted. Levi doesn't get a portion. So how does it come up to 12? Yosef was divided into two tribes. <clears throat> Another an answer is the poorest people and the are the ones who are the scribes and those who teach children. And they usually come from Shimon. Why did I do that? So they'll be spread all over the place. Wherever there's children, there has to be teachers. They'll go to search or over there to, to teach to teach children. That's usually the way it is. The teachers, they get paid the least. Rashi. So the teachers, they come from Shimon. And the <clears throat> Yehuda. Yehuda, you are. What does it mean, Yehuda, you are? Of course he is Yehuda. He's talking to him. What does it mean? He says, Rashi says, because that Yaakov just finished reproving, telling off, saying negative things about Reuven, Shimon, and Levi. So he killed Yehuda Lasuga Chorab. Yehuda sort of started to, he retreated. He didn't want to be part of it. He didn't want to hear these bad things about himself. Yaakov called him up. Diver Yehuda, Loata, you're not like them. Yehuda Ata, your hand will be. On your enemies. This is the days of David. All of the enemies will be under the 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 the, the, the enemies will like have their necks turned to me. <clears throat> they will be, be uh, you. All of the sons of your father will all bow down to you. Why didn't they say the sons of your mothers? Because they all came from a lot of mothers, right? There was four mothers. The others, at least the other tribes, they were they were from Le- Bila and Zilpa <clears throat> and, and Leah. So he said, all of the sons of your father will bow down to me. Like it said by Yitzchak. Here he says something interesting. No, let's see where, where we find this one. Here we go. Rush. Oh. Eben Ezra, he says like this. Yaakov, I'm sorry, 
Yehurata, you are Yehuda, your name, so you are. What does it mean? That when everyone sees that you're, that you rule over all of your enemies, like a king, so everyone will say, you're Yehuda. What does that mean? It says like this. One second. Excuse me. So for, yeah. Yehuda. Bei Shemo Tzorek Liot. Yehuda. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It says, I think. Achecha Yodcha Be'orof Emecha. These first letters, Aleph, Yud, Beit, Aleph, these first letters are the gematria of David. Okay, but I want I wanted a different one here. Just one, one moment. Oh, this is what I want to hear here. Sofrono. Yud Ata. Ata, you are the one that is fit to be a king. Binafol Mimeno Akodmin, because all of the previous ones, they fell. Ki lo nimsa b'cha pagam, because there's not found in you any blemish. She masecha mimelech that you should be disqualified from being a king. Now there was Reuven fell down because of what he did with Bila, and also because he was born with a different thought. <clears throat> Shimon and Levi they they sinned uh, several sins. It says Shimon was going to sin in the future generations with the Midianite woman and Levi was with Korach and Shimon and Levi together says they destroyed the city of Shechem and they also were the ones that wanted to kill Yosef so therefore they were disqualified so the next in line was Yehuda says Yehuda you are going to be received to be a king because Yuducha everyone will admit that you're fit to be the king. It says your hand will be on the neck of your enemies, that your enemies will run from you. Like it says, I'll, the enemies will turn their, their backs to you and run away. <clears throat> and you will run on, you will rule over all the rest of the Jewish people. You'll rule over the Jewish people, but you, of a low Allah umot, but you won't rule over on, on the Jews, you will rule. That was in the first temple. And also we'll see that all the leaders, we'll, we'll see the next Rashi. All the leaders of the Jews for all the generations always came from Yehuda. The Jews, but not over the non-Jews. You won't rule over the non-Jews until you have Oshilo. We'll talk about that, Shilo, Because that's going to be one of the things of Mashiach. Shilo is going to be Mashiach. Let's see, where do we get this? We'll have to skip a little bit. It says... Akivo Shilo. It says Shilo means that the rulership is his. Rulership is his. But that we're going to do tomorrow. I want to do that tomorrow. That we will do tomorrow. Gur Arye Yehuda. Okay, so let's go back a little bit, just one second. Yehuda, your 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 brothers will bow down to you. Gur Arye Yehuda. You are a, a, a young lion, <coughs> Yehuda. This is talking about David in the beginning. It was gur, gur, like a lion cub. <clears throat> this was when King Saul was the king, and King Saul ruled over all of Israel, and he was supposed to rule over. And King David had to be hidden. So that's what, in the first he was like a little cub, a lion cub. But in the end, he's going to become a full-fledged lion. This is when <clears throat> King David was actually chosen to be the king. Metorif. Metorif because <clears throat> that you were suspected that you were the one that Yaakov suspected him to be responsible for the death of Yosef. That's what they remember because they came to Yaakov with the Yosef's uh, striped coat that they had dunked in uh, goat blood and they said Yosef must have been we found this coat w what happened they said oi Yaakov said must be that a lot of wild animals ate him this was Yehuda 
Yehuda, he was the one that he brought this coat to his father. But Bnei Alita, Bnei Alita, you removed yourself from the rest of the brothers. You, the brothers wanted to kill, especially Shimon and Levi. And Yehuda was the one that suggested, what benefit is it if we kill him? Let's sell him. <clears throat> and also Yehuda was the one, if you remember the story with Tamar, that Yehuda removed himself from, from Tamar. Just one moment. Therefore, Kara Rovitz, therefore it says that he bent down and he crouched. This is in the days of King Solomon, that everybody was crouching under his own, um, his vineyard and his uh, grape tree. There was peace in the whole entire world. And that was the time that it was crouching, like a crouching lion, he was just resting which we'll talk about more, God willing, tomorrow. So these are the prophecies that Yaakov said instead of revealing the future. But here we're going to see with Yehuda, it's, it, he does talk about the future, about the days of Mashiach to a certain degree. Have a good day with Mashiach. Now, see you all tomorrow at 8.15 in the morning.